India, India and Pakistan are nuclear states, but they are two of the smallest nuclear powers. Two scientists, Luke o Oman and Alan Roebuck, calculated the spread of smoke after a war between India and Pakistan. It only takes about two weeks for the smoke to cover the entire Earth and will rise to altitudes between 20 to 50 miles above the surface. It will never rain, smoke will stay there for years, there will be food shortages, crops will die from lack of light and cold temperatures. It's been estimated after a war between India and Pakistan, one to two billion people all over the world could die of starvation. So my question is, were there in the name of Ghazwatul Hind or, Kash or Kashmir or Modi's greater India, India dream, how likely are they to enter a nuclear conflict? I am uh, someone who has consistently advised that we must show respect for the Hindu religion and that we must condemn Muslim rule over India, Hindu India for so many centuries as Islamic imperialism and there is no imperialism in Islam. It was bogus jihad waged by the Mughal Empire and the Hindus have every right to be very um, pained over Muslim rule over India, uninvited Muslim rule over India for so many centuries. The backlash of this is that it has opened the way for this aberration of Hinduism to emerge. The same way that an aberration of Judaism has emerged in Israel. It's a war, warmongering Hinduism, which is not the Hindu religion. This is a warmongering Israel, which is not the Jewish religion. So they are two sisters, present day in, in India and present day Israel. I believe that once the Great War starts, I hope I'm wrong, once the Great War starts, Israel would, would say, this is our opportunity. It will never come again to denuclearize Pakistan. Pakistan has enough traitors on board, including traitors in the armed forces, that they can destroy Pakistan nuclear weapons without a nuclear war. If that happens, there'll be no nuclear war between India and Pakistan because Pakistan will be denuclearized. If Imran Khan were to return as Prime Minister of Pakistan, then Pakistan's nuclear weapons will be safe. Yes. And yes, if India attacks, there'll be nuclear war if Imran Khan returns. And the people of Pakistan are supporting him. It is only the traitors who are puppy dogs of NATO. They're the ones who are opposing Imran Khan. And they're the ones who might innocently preside over the destruction of Pakistan's nuclear, um, nuclear weapons. Um, so uh, once the Great War starts, and Israel attacks Pakistan to denuclearize Pakistan. Israel to do, will do so in alliance with, with, with India and of course with NATO. With these three forces at work, NATO, India and Israel, today's Pakistan, there's a stand a chance. So I believe that they might succeed in denuclearizing Pakistan and therefore averting nuclear war between India and Pakistan. This is the sad, sad reality.